yourselves the way you want to. And then when you're ready to uh, to proceed, tell me what you have out and exactly what you're doing. Uh, you can do that in turn order, please. If you look at the if you look at the initiative, do it in turn order. So it'd be Humper, Dick, Aloysia, Zhang, Sebastian. All right. So wait. So so let's get this straight. The turn order. Under somebody set the scene. What exactly are we doing? Where are we? What are we doing? What did we just get doing? Where we walked into the funeral home, we found what? We found the secret passage in the in the down in the fruit cellar. No one's been down here yet. Have I got about? Have I, have I got it? That's pretty much it. This is like a secret door we found in the funeral home. Going back there the second time, we never found this place the first time. Okay. And we just blew up the Nazi's house, right? I believe we did. And yeah. We you heard an explosion. You know, you know, you set a trap. There were all kinds of fire engines and everything. Yeah. Was, was, uh, did we fight anybody here yet? No. We're about to. <laughs> I think uh, we just Thing, basically just kind of searched around found the where... funeral home. <clears throat> Were we going to use that rule I found where uh, a fully automatic assault rifle can use a uh, submachine gun skill? Look at the Discord. If you look at my Discord post, it'll tell you exactly how that works, man. As far as I'm going to spot hidden. I'm going to spot hidden. For submachine gun got rifle. It. It's got, it specs it out there for you. Okay, so we're not using that rule. So I should not have a assault rifle. That's up to you, right? Okay. <laughs> however you want to, however you want to do it, but that's, that's right. Really well, I might, I might, you know, have a few in the back of the Huey, but I'll stick to the submachine guns. Got it. I can definitely say this. I can. Can I uh, bring a uh, Frederick? Elijah, can you spot hidden? Can no, you're, spot you're, hidden? no, no one's secondary characters are um are involved yet. Mm. Stuart's character's not there either. It's just the people that you see on the map. All right, Alicia, I, Humperdick, Sebastian, Juliet, and Jang. You guys are down in this carved passageway of this white stone. You can see it goes down. You can't really see past the bend. You, can, you know, like you said, when you, you heard some some sort of noise down here. So starting with uh, starting in turn order right now, which would be if you look at the turn order, we're going to start with Humperdick, then Aloysia, Jang, Sebastian, Julia. Tell me what you have out and what you're doing. Aloysia has his AK-47. So, what are you doing? You got out, my, you I have my, my Mac 10 out, and I'm starting. And as I walk into the tunnel, I'm there. I pick that spot. I'm up front. I got my Mac 10 out, and I'm like scanning the area in front of me. I'm doing spot hidden. Failed my spot hidden roll. And okay. I'm signaling to everybody to you know stay quiet, but a spot hit and roll spot hidden. As we okay, so so you're are you you're all, so you're doing stealth and spot hidden. Yes, I'm just standing there. I'm not moving forward until somebody okay. makes a spot hidden roll. Okay, so all right, so you do your spot hidden. You got your Mac 10 out. Okay, Alicia, what do you, what do you have out? What are you doing? I have my AK-47 out, and I'm uh, I'm spot hitting, hitting. I don't know. Yeah. I'm basically, spot hitting. Okay. Just to see if there's anything around. Any trip wires and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Yeah, this guy's a trap thing. Yeah, all right, I use my lock. So. Oh, good use. You don't you don't detect any um anything in the in the vicinity in front of you? Um, <coughs> nothing right in front of you. Shang, what are you doing? Can I still move forward? Um, so Zhang has his has his bow stick out, I guess. And, um, I'll, he'll pay attention to 
What's behind us? I guess the stairway? It's a secret door. Uh, it opens back into the uh, utility closet. Um, okay. Um, so I guess he'll try and listen. All right, listen. A 94 is a failure. The water and the plumbing. Okay. Gentlemen, <laughs> he puts his, he puts his bow staff well. in his ear. <laughs> we're not saying it out well at all. Hey, Sebastian. Tighten it up here. Tighten it up. Tighten it up, guys. I have uh, my Scorpion. <laughs> okay. Down the Klaus mine. And uh, I'll be uh, I'll be listening as well. Which direction are you listening? Oh, are you listening back? Forward. Forward, okay. Zhang hits me in the ear with this bow staff at the same time. <laughs> Ow. That hurts. All right, Juliet. <laughs> um, Juliet pulls out her compact mirror from her makeup kit and checks her lipstick. Puts the mirror back. Pulls out her thirty-eight pistol. Uh, she's got a fry grenade in her left hand. And she's kind of watching the rear with Zhang here. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian's <laughs> eyes bulge a little bit at the... <laughs> At the, uh, at the, uh, frag grenade coming out. So someone does have grenade access, okay. She pulls out a tape recorder with the Benny Hill song. I'll fail level. <laughs> right, so we'll, uh, we'll start back at the, uh, at the top of the turn, so it's, it's a new turn, so. Humber Dick, All you're right. staring, you're staring down the hallway. I'm gonna go be here. And I look around the corner, so my line of sight is right there. But I'm not going to be against the wall. I'm going to be back to get more cover. And I peer down the hallway. Make a smell roll. A smell roll? Do I have that skill? What's a smell like down here? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I mean, smell I, roll. I spent all the points. Smell doesn't count. Oh. <laughs> it's 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 there's a there's a fetid breeze that drifts up out of this space. <laughs> fetid. Yeah, it's an it's, unfortunate like, description. It's, it, it's, it smells like somebody took the lid off the barbecue. Man, it's a little swampy down here. I signal back to them with, with hand signal <laughs> a fetid breeze. Hey, <laughs> you don't, I don't know you if don't. that's the hand signal. I've, I've, seen, I've seen people blame it on a dog. Now Humperdick's blaming it on the hall. <laughs> <laughs> a fetid breeze approaches. Of protein? <laughs> approaches, approaches, approaches. Approaches. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Sounds like Pokemon. Juliet turns to Sebastian and says, What did he say? <laughs> I think it is his cologne. A nod. Can I go further or is that it? Go a little further, Tom, if you wanted. Can I make another uh, roll spot hidden? Can. Tom, you're gonna get a silver star for this. You... Okay, so are you moving up or are you are you spot hitting where you're at, Tom? I'm gonna spot hidden right where I just want it. Right, so you do see in front of you, right, right in front of you, man. There's a little plate or something not right on the floor there. Really? That looks like it looks like it's probably like a little. It's probably a grenade or some type of little landmine, basically. On that tile, you should be okay. That's what you think. Equalize, Humperdinck. 
you've seen you've seen this setup before. It's probably a little it's probably a little mini mine that pops up and you know springs up about groin level and explodes. I signal fetid breeze and booby trap right there, and I point to the tile, mark it, and I'll Tom, go as far. So as Tom you... pinches his nose and then points to the ground and makes an explosion kind of symbol. <laughs> right. How far can I go? We're gonna here? blame that one on the hallway too. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're if you're you stopped right there, no, no, okay. You, you're back back where you were. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah, the that's the, the, grenade, the, the, the little pressure pates there on the uh, on the left hand side of the hallway. So, uh, Aloysia, what are you doing? I am going to uh, walk up next to a uh, humper deck and uh, go to the little pressure plate and try to uh, disarm it. Oh. Uh. What skill do you have? Oh, oh shit! Sorry about that. What skill do you have to do that? Uh, I don't know. What kind of skill do I need? Dude, I just say leave it alone. Leave him bother. Humperdick's like, Humperdick puts his hand out and he's like, disarm mines. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, we should just, just quietly just takes like moves a little bit forward and tries to uh step past the mine you you can step past the mine you do so that's that's where you move farther than that way more like and all is like oh, like right there you're like right in front of the mine that's where you're at Aloysia just like is having like a. He takes a swig of vodka. While he's uh, walking near the mine. Taste it tastes good. All right, Jang, what are you doing? You have good vodka. Good vodka. Oh um. So Zhang will just move up, I guess. Okay. Yes. Sebastian. Does does Humper Dick have his chainsaw out now? No, my Mac Ten with the silence. Okay. So um, my, my chainsaw is, part, is on a strap underneath my jacket. Very conveniently ready. Primed and oiled. <laughs> I'll just uh, creep forward here and uh, Actually, listen. Tom, you, have, you have an Uzi. Sorry. Sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> have we finished with Thumper Dick's logistics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I have a second pair of socks on just in case, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So, anyways, while we've gone through all of his, uh, his supplies, uh, I'm coming up and I'm listening. <laughs> listening forward. See if I can hear anything down the hall. You hear it. I... You hear a whisk call out. Come. Come to me. <laughs> Siren's call. I, I heard my death. Join, join us. <laughs> Here's some some low murmuring, and and what sounds like maybe like ring, but it's very faint. What's the last thing you said? It sounds like murmuring something, and what? And something tearing maybe. Tearing? It's, it's yeah, tearing like a piece of paper or a piece of cloth or something. It's it's very faint. Okay. All right. I'm... You're not I alone. Remember. I hear I hear something ahead. Julia, there's, tearing off the there's something down the hall. Uh, this door, the secret door, Lee. What's the mechanism on the, on the door? Is it just like a concealed door? It springs open or on hinges? 
the, yeah, it's it's actually a hinged door, and on the inside, there's a there's actually like a a, and a and a lock. You know, you can bar it from the inside. Okay. On my side, right? Yeah. I'm gonna bar it from the inside. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of stay back behind the party here a little bit. What is Humperdick saying up there? I'm moving since... I'm going to move, like, right up to here and look around the corner. Spot hidden in. Were we able to walk past this pressure plate thing? Oh, yeah. Easily. Okay. All right. It's like a tile floor, and it's like one of the tiles. Don't touch that tile. It's like the grout's loose around it. You can see it. So move your move your character up, Tom. I put little red cones around. Wait, I'll say, uh, okay, so what are, you, what are you doing? How far can I go? Like there? Not quite that far. Just a little before that. That? Right there. Yep, yeah, right there. And I still have a spot hidden roll. <laughs> Ooh, I make it. Hard. Take a limb off. Oh wait, no. If I see anything, more for trap. This is what I'm looking for, man. This guy's a psycho. Okay, so you don't find anything on the um. There's no kind of trap or anything like that. You can kind of see into this room and it looks like you're looking at it, you can kind of see the edge of what looks to be like a stone table it's like a large piece of stone in the middle of the room is there anything on it's, it's pretty uh -huh. dimly it's pretty dimly lit in here man you can't you can't see too far kind of see the edge of some kind of stone platform or table in the center of the room I keep going forward, man. I'm ready. i am go as far as I can. It's about as far as you can go. And and, and being careful and spotting hitting like you're, you're doing, that's about as far as you can make it. Does so the table look like blood on it, fresh or anything? You can't quite see that. You'd have to get a little closer. Okay. Hey, Alicia, what you doing? Um... Just spray, oh, just spray that room down. <laughs> Aloysia gets out his bottle and uh, walks over near uh, Van Helsing. Uh, like a little bit so he can uh, see the room. <laughs> a little bit more. Do we have light down here? Very dim. Yeah, there's it's it's a it's a dim light source. Elisha peeks peeks into the room. Is there anything in there? It's about hidden. Nice. No, you don't. You don't see anything. You see this. It looks to be again like a large stone, some type of stone table or stone platform in the middle of the room. You can kind of see past a little bit of the table. Large room. It's made of the same white stone. Not sure. Aloysia motions over to Zhang to get the others.
Okay. So Zhang tries to avoid the booby trap. Yeah. And uh, I suppose he'll try to spot hidden in this hallway while he's moving along. Oh. The bow staff goes in the eye now. <laughs> yeah, he trips and he falls on the ground, but he doesn't hit himself with bow staff too hard. <laughs> so, did I roll twice there? Is that what happened? Maybe you did. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, look like that. Yeah. So we'll take the first roll. So yeah, you don't. Find, you know, there's nothing. Just jinxed. Roll. You just jinxed yourself, Harry. Exactly. No, you, got, <laughs> you, you, get, you got that fumble out of the way. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Well, your chances. Your chances of getting another fumble are dramatically lower statistically. I think. Exactly. That's right. I kind of would. Or the uh, I don't know. I think the opportunities are independent, so it's the same chance. That's the good. That's a good attitude. <laughs> <laughs> there is plenty of room to mess up. Uh, no, I mean, I your pretty <laughs> nasty, man. You're good. You're, spoken you're good like girl. a man from NASA. <laughs> yeah. The evil GM would have making you take the fumble. <laughs> Very true. We just moving down the list here. All right, the best Sebastian's, Sebastian's going to move up and stay away from the coned off booby trap area. And Juliet is in the rear with the gear. She has a satchel full of all kinds of good stuff. Everything from a 35 millimeter camera to smoke grenades. <laughs> Settling torch. So, Humperdick, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm, uh, I'm going to here and looking around the corner. i hidden it. Sorry, right. didn't realize it was. Okay, so when you to the corner there, Tom. Ooh. You, you spot hidden for sure. Told you we were going to get a silver star. Hey, what do I see for, for sure? You phased out. Well, that's bad. <laughs> what? I didn't hear him at all. How bad? Bad, bad. <laughs> You have stumbled into the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> we have four horrors right in front of us. So, we surprise you guys. Yeah, they were waiting for us the whole time. They're, they're incredibly oh. fast, man. This one jumps over. Goes here. Your sanity checks, firstly. I think everybody here has a. Uh... Seeing them, yeah. Yeah, well, the rule says that, okay, even if, though you've seen something, you should still make a sanity check unless you haven't taken the total, like, amount of max sanity that you could from one of these creatures. So, what is a ghoul? 1D, what? 1D, what? I think it's 1D6. Yeah, so it, it, once you've taken six sanity points from seeing ghouls, then you're kind of immune to them. At least that's oh what the rule says. Man. Well, goddamn. 
I mean, these things, these things pour. I mean, they jump on top of you guys, man. I mean, they're on you. Are these the same things we spot before? <coughs> yep. Oh, dude, I'm using my chainsaw. I'm making the switch. Hand to hand. You need. We need. This. You need the fodder damn guns. Don't worry. Don't you have a bayonet on the Uzi? No, I no. think that's. Uh... I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's the guy we haven't met yet. He's bringing one to me. I hope. Test, 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 Wait. Oh. As soon as you cross the corner, man, they're like, Raw! Yeah, it does seem <laughs> likely they would have hurt us anyway, probably. And now, if you guys all would have been rolling stealth, uh, sneak down there. This person. Oh, look! Oh, stealth! I screamed! heard the uh i was just fucking around <laughs> the talking like, of the uzis and, the <laughs> and whatnot so uh let's let's go let's let's rock these things man oh let's do this so we'll just go down the line i'll do humper dick aloysia chang and sebastian The green for unmodified, gray for added dice, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, gray's for like bonus dice or penalty dice. Howard Dick, you take 11 points. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't ready to take 11 points. <laughs> <laughs> or no, don't I get a chance to dodge? Isn't that like an option? You can, right? Yeah, okay, I should be able to dodge your fight back. Can I do both? No. <laughs> and if you dodge, you lose your next action. <laughs> what a very Tom Bristow response. But if you dodge, you do get to dodge oh! every... Oh, oh shit. No! Oh, dude. I fall into it. <laughs> well, you can't push the roll, probably, but... If you can push well, the roll. to do what he just said. It was I like... I rolled 100. Yeah, you can't use luck to modify that, but you could push it. Well, yeah, you... Could push how, it. how bad can I get? I'm gonna push it. I'm oh no! It. Has anybody ever pushed it before? A couple times. Yeah, yeah, I know I did once. The kids in my game last weekend, everybody died after a fat, after <laughs> oh, a push roll. No. But oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you're not really selling it to the group here, John. Oh, <laughs> well, I know. But... Oh shit, he pushed <laughs> it and failed. Can I? Can I spend <laughs> oh, the twenty luck and make it? No. Are you can't sure? Use, yeah, you can't <laughs> use luck on push rolls. I'm pretty sure. I'll t I'll just double check. I think I think I think with a fumble and a fail, you sacrifice yourself on the stone table somehow. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'll tell you that. Oh! 
get out of the way of the claw claw bite. Yeah, so tactically, so tactically. Why are you in here? I have to go to the bathroom. Well, you're done. Get online, and you won't ask me these questions. So tactically, when pushed rolls happen like, what, before what, the roll, like, before the roll, it should generally be determined what's going to happen if there's a failure. If there's a failed okay. push roll, but so now Lee, you should push the whore some way, shape, or fashion. Push. You try to you, you try to dodge out of the way of this thing, man, and it, it mauls you, and then you, you you slip and fall, and it basically has you in like a full mount position with its jaws right in your face. Your your lucky baloney slice falls out of your pocket. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How many points do I take? 11. Eleven. Medic! Yes? Oh, wait, you're the medic. Yeah, it's, he is it is medic. 11, yeah. <laughs> That's part of the fumble he calls for himself. So that puts you at, <laughs> puts you at 11 hit points? Yeah. <laughs> uh, was that half of your total? Yes. No, not quite, though. Uh... 11, 22 divided by. Well, it's yeah, it's actually in pulp. It's based on your total hit points. So it's 20, <laughs> 28. Oh. Yeah. If you took 28. 14 or more, you need to make a con check to stay conscious. You're good. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not good, guys. So Aloysia, this thing attempts to claw you. Uh, you you faded out. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it's green. Hold on. Fail up for the dodge. Alicia dodges this. Dodge away? That's going to be two separate dodges, one for each attack. Oh, wow. Good, good yeah. dodge. Yeah, and ties fall into the dodger's favor, so you dodge the first one. And he dodges nice. the second one. Good for you. Good for you, son. Good for you. All right. Why did you do that? He bounds at Aloysia and he adeptly like steps out of the way and does this Russian dance move in its face. Alright, so let's go to Zhang. Okay, he will also try and dodge. I'm going to just put a marker on those who have dodged so we remember, because you will lose your next action. Little red circles. Should they, should people be declaring if they dodge before I attack, Sean? Yeah, generally, yeah. Because that way, even if they miss, they still use their dodge, basically. Yeah, for each for each attack, they should have the option to fight back or dodge, <coughs> unless they've dodged already. Damn, man, what these things are clawing the shit out of the party. So, Harry, you need a regular success or better to dodge that claw. Yay! Dogs Barely. are those. You nice. do. Dodge it. Like the sound effects. Dogs. How embarrassing. <laughs> it's the first failure of their claws, man. Those things are at fifty percent. They've been pretty damn accurate. Oh my! Is that on um, Bastion? Bastion. Oh well, I'm gonna fight back. You're dodging first. Use the shotgun. Oh shit! He crit with that second one. Dad, dodge. Dude, if you're fighting back, you can't, you can't beat him because it's an extreme success. All right. Well then, I'll dodge.
Okay. First one, yeah. It still doesn't work, though, because you have to meet his level of success with dodge. But Did I have to dodge twice? You need an extra... You need a, yeah, well, technically. I mean, yeah, Yeah, because the first one, so I still yeah, sure. have a chance to dodge the second one. Yeah, you need an extreme okay. success. Not. Roll the 40. Okay. Right. 30 points away. Oh, can I use luck for that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I totally do. That's a nice chunk of luck there. Yeah, well... There's a nice chunk of flesh coming off Bristow's chest, or uh, Humperdinck's chest. Bristow's <laughs> Just a pound. Only a pound. So Sebastian's spending 30 luck to dodge. As this thing breaks its claw at your face and you move out of the way just in the right amount of time, it digs its claw into the wall, takes a big gouge out of the wall. <laughs> Shit. Nicely done. Well done, Sebastian. So that was, I guess, the surprise round. So now we start at the top of initiative, I guess. That's correct. All right, so Hopper Dick, you can. <coughs> and you have you have a you have an Uzi or a Scorpion. Save Uzi thyself. And I, so I assume you had your Uzi out. Yeah. Can I make the quick change to the uh, chainsaw? Is that going to cost me a round? Oh, you can't, man. This thing's right on top of you. You have your Uzi in your hand, though. Point right. blank. Point blank. Unload on it, dude. I'll unload right in his face. Right? His face is right in me. Right on me, right? Right, because you get a bonus if he's point blank, right? So... Yeah, you could double your chance to hit. So essentially, probably going to be at 100. Um, you should for your first Just... volley. How many volleys do I get? Let's see what's your um, what's I mean, your dexterity? It's eighty, so it'd be eight volleys, eight apiece, right? Um, it'd be uh, eight volleys, and eight. it would be the uh, what's its skill? Eighty-one. You could have eight bullets per volley. Four would be. Four would hit if the volley hit. That's right. How many rounds does the gun have? It's uh, got like 30 round clips. It's the extra big drum, man. So like three volleys of eight bullets. Yeah. So the first volley has a normal chance to hit. Um, <laughs> it, it can dodge though, or jump for cover, I guess you could say. If it successfully dodges, it would move it. It would lose its next action, but it Dude, would give Tom a penalty die in all of his rolls. He thinks he has me, didn't he? Just jump on me with my epic fumble. He my does, man. He, he he does. He's right in your face, man. He smells the blood. How many times do I roll? Uh, it's going to be three rolls, Tom. So you roll for the first volley with your regular chance to hit. Um. Well, hold on a second though, because you're going to get penalty dice. So your, okay. so your first roll oh. is a success. So the first volley hits. Uh, so out of those eight bullets, four bullets hit. So you would roll damage for four bullets. Um, for an Uzi, that's going to be 4d8. Now, Stuart, didn't you say that maybe that was that where I was right? That wasn't right. I'm sorry. Say again. Old man, what'd you say? <laughs> what is what damage on an Uzi? Uh, Uzi is D10. I actually checked that. It's a oh, it D10. Is? Okay. I think we weren't sure of that last session. Yeah, Maybe it might depend, like, if you have a silencer or not, but uh, I think it's a D10. So it's 4D10, Tom, sorry. I take the first one? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Alright, so that's, what is that, fifth? 12. 12. And then, now what do I... How do I uh, roll? The, the second volley oh, gets a penalty die. So click the, the gray button for the roll. We're going to look at the minus one, minus one row. Got it. That's 
still a hard Ooh. success. Nice. So a bunch more bullets in his face. Four more bullets. Yep. All right. It's good. And then the third volley gets two penalty dice. Dude, I mean, yep. come on. Regular success. Rolled a 14 and a 15. I'm ripping this thing out. Ripping the thing apart, I hope. The 23 points. That's a massive damage there, yeah. <laughs> What's your total? Total damage all together? Uh, I didn't... I think mm. you have six bullets left in your gun. Mm. Okay, close to 50. Somebody add that up. Perhaps that's something uh, <coughs> FT Murdoch can work on, is getting drums for these Uzis instead of mags. <laughs> drums, yeah. By the way, Lee, just a GM tip. If you shift the map by accident, which happens, if you just right-click on the desktop and hit undo, it'll put it back to where it was. Okay. All right, so how, does this thing die or what? How many points did you do, Tom, total? He said it was about 50. At 50. least, hold on. It's more than that. Does it matter? It was probably more than that. I'll go back. <laughs> Blow it away, man. It always matters. Parts and pieces fly off this thing. 52 points of damage. Nice. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Aloysia? Aloysia will uh, use his AK. Uh, you know what? I just remember something. We fucked up because Humperdick dodged. But it was a new turn, wasn't it? That was just a suppress, right? We went into a new turn. Right, but you don't. You miss your next action when you dodge. Even if it's oh, even if it's a new turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's in the next round you miss your turn, basically. I usually allow uh, people to move, but they can't really take any actions. Is there a luck roll? Can I make a luck roll to see if that, like, I got lucky? <laughs> Let that stand, Tom. <coughs> since, it was, since it was right on top of you, you unloaded on it. All right, cool. We'll, we'll let that Yay. stand. Yeah, but Good. next, but next time, but next time, yeah, we'll. I'll, that itchy, itchy trigger that. finger. <laughs> Sweaty palm. Okay, so Aloysia basically needs to... He can he can maneuver... What can he do? He can maneuver, he can... Did he, he dodge? Yeah, if he dodged... Yeah. I would let people move, but they can't take an action or an attack. Aloysia just goes around this thing and... Uh... Is uh basically right next to a uh, humper deck. Boisha bounds forward. Mm hmm. Jang. Okay. You, you also so dodged. Jang is nimble. Yes, so, he is. Um, he can do an action after a dodge. <coughs> Nice. So uh, he's going to use his bow stick to whap this thing in the face. Hey. Or just whap this thing in general. We'll be good enough for that right is, now. Yeah, that is a handy talent. Thanks incredibly dexterous. His dexterity is high, man. You see him, he dodges, and all of a sudden he's able to pose himself an attack. <laughs> oh, shit. So it's a regular success. Yep, so, so I guess these things can dodge, or 
They can. They can dodge or fight back. Or fight back? Unless they dodged, which they didn't. So it, it could take like a claw or bite attack against them or attempt to dodge the attack. A dodge. It won't get to attack next turn though, or this later this round. It will get to dodge any successive attacks though, against it. Sales. Whack. Okay, so his damage roll is a D8. And he does four points of damage. Bastion in the stout. It whelps. Arr. All right, Sebastian. Okay. Is a maneuver possible? And Sean, when I say I'm asking Sean, because like, could I could I try to knock this thing down with my turn? Well, if I remember, you dodged. I did. I forgot to mark your token, so technically you dodge, so all you can really do is move. All right, I'm going to back away from this thing. I mean, basically, you're spending, your, trap. you're spending your turn not being hit, or trying to not be hit, basically. Yep. Dodging is especially effective if you have multiple enemies attacking you, because you get a dodge roll against all of them. Yeah. I'm just moving back ever so slightly. <coughs> okay. Marveling at Mr. X's ability to recover and hit. Is Juliet getting a involved? Oh, wait. She's going last. Ah. So, this goal must be I guess the dodgy ghoul just has to dodge, right? I'm sorry, say again? Do the, the ghoul that's dodging has to dodge. He can't really do anything else, correct? Well, he misses his action. He can move. And get away from Chang's staff. <laughs> yeah. Tail between his legs. It has a, such a thing. <laughs> All right, Sebastian, this thing's going to attempt to claw you, and I guess you're dodging, is that right? Well, since I'm already in dodge, I mean, and he's attacking me again, can I choose to fight? Yeah, you can fight back now. All right, that's what I want to do. Remember, you need a higher level of success. You got a hard roll. So I got to get an extreme. That's right. So fighting back, um, it's fighting back like with like fight brawl is what mm -hmm. I need. Yeah, or any melee weapons you have out. If you have your gun out, you can just smack it with your gun, I suppose. All right, it's a fail on the fight back. Is that seven damage? Is that accurate? I it is. You, do you, guys have, you guys have flak vests on? I do. Some of us do, yeah. I think so. And what kind are they? Are they concealable or are they military grade? 
Let's see. Mine is five point body armor is what it says. See, that's military great body armor. Right, so against <coughs> military gear body armor basically has 20 points against projectiles, 10 points against hand to hand or like blood objects, that kind of thing. Concealable will have 12, but six against that kind of stuff. Okay. Is that, is it 20 and 10? Because I think the military grade that we looked at was 40 and 20. <coughs> It's it's different, yeah, but I'm that's that, that's what I'm doing. That that, sounds, that's a different one. That sounds too extreme to me. And yeah, that's I'm, I'm doing I'm doing it as far as like for the concealable, it's twelve and six for the military, it's twenty and ten. Yeah, it sounds gotcha. about right. Unless you want to roll on the hit location chart. <laughs> Sorry, we're not going to get that Sorry, crazy. Yeah. We're not going to get that. Maybe later. No, hit so he so he soaks six of the seven, basically, right? I, well, he soaks. He's got he's got twenty ten. He's got that five point. So oh, it's okay. Eight. All right. So that was the first claw. All right. Dad, you can fight back from this. You can fight this thing. I'm I'm gonna fight back if it claws me again. You can do this, Dad. Alright. You can do it! You can do it! Yes! Nice. You basically punch it in the face. Do you, and did Tom have a flak vest on? Did he have a bulletproof vest on? Where would I find that? Somebody made my character. Oh, that would be. Um, so you clearly made the character, one, but I can't. I would think. Why wouldn't I have one? All right, man. So you have a concealable one, so. Yeah, it'd be, it would be concealable. So take six. You would have absorbed six of that to the vest. Okay. And now you get to roll damage, Kyle. You smack <clears> this <throat> thing right in the face with your submachine gun. What uh, what kind of damage does that do? <clears throat> what, one to six? One Plus to six? hand to hand? Plus my damage bonus? Okay. So it's one to six. Plus one to four. Seven this thing right across the brow, man. You think you hear some bones break. Does it have bones? <coughs> What's that, a little scream? <sighs> Juliet, so this thing is going to... Yeah, when this thing, yeah. Approach, when this thing approaches me, dude, I just drop my pistol on the frag. I do not prime the frag. And I whip out my nunchucks. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm definitely fighting back if it's attacking me. Cue it up is. the bongo music. Right. <laughs> so it, it attempts to claw you. These boots are not made for walking. <laughs> They're made for numb-chucking your face. <laughs> right, it failed. And I fumbled. Oh! Oh shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the shining moment. Dun dun dun. Wow. The nunchuck just went. <laughs> just like comes the nunchuck back around in your face. It's just like, ow. The, the Fumbletron 5000 has been engaged tonight. Oh. Yes. Whipping the nunchuck around and you hit yourself square in the knee. Ow. Oh pretty good. It's a pretty good whack, man. Whack. Oh, that never Don't happens. What does that do? I'm out of my element. Uh, what, what damage does an nunchuck do? Nunchuck does 1d8. 
<laughs> so, so, so roll one to four. Okay. You were able to pull, you were able to pull it a little bit. That so sounds fair. Like roll to three. All yeah, right. you smack yourself really hard in the kneecap, man. You're like, oh, fuck. damn it. Seriously, that never happens, guys. Sorry. All right, here we go. Probably almost nobody saw it. All right. Take that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I do wear a leather overcoat. It gives me one point of armor. Do you have a flag vest on or a bulletproof vest? No. Too encumbering. Okay. Five. <laughs> All right, I'll take five. Get 19. I believe we're back at the top of the turn, and is it now a new turn? No, it's my turn. That's right. Time to open up a can of whoop ass. All right, um, so... Thanks. I have uh, the rapid attack talent. I can spend 10 luck points to gain an additional melee attack. I'll spend 10 luck for two attacks with the nunchucks. It may fight back if it likes. Come on, give me a crit. Or a regular success. Um, actually, technically, I should be rolling on the truck. Sorry. Only 10 points less. Still hit. It'll try to dodge. And he did. Alright, second attack. Hard success. So it needs a hard dodge. Oh. All right, I also have Heavy Hitter. I can spend 10 luck points to add an additional damage die in melee combat. Nice. That's going to be 2d8 plus my damage bonus. That is 2d8 plus 1d4. Oh, nice. I hit him for 11. Like, down and break one of its legs. <laughs> Snap some of its ribs. Boom! Screams as well. Oh. Yeah, they're making those crazy Bruce Lee sounds, you know, like, All right, so now we're back at the top of the round. I don't think anybody's really dodged here. Actually, this one dude did mark him here. That guy dodged on me. All right, Humperdick. Save us. It's time to massacre this thing in front of us. A lot, Betsy. <laughs> Bloody Bess. Dude, you've got six rounds left it's in your rounds. Uzi. Yeah. Play. That would be good for a six round volley, I guess. Is Helpertick even a computer? It, you only get was, one, Tom. I was on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. I didn't know. I, I was talking the whole time. My you bad. only you only get uh, you only get one volley because you okay. spray it, so that's six bullets. So how many how many uh, d10 do I roll? Be three bullets hit, so three d10. Uh, three that would be twelve points, and I reload. So you empty your magazine, what's left in it, and you're dumping the mag, and you're pulling out another mag. Absolutely. And I continue to fire. 
Elisha will unleash his AK-47 into this thing. Uh, how many volleys should I have? So like, what's uh, your uh, what's your what's your dexterity and what's your uh, rifle skill? Uh, my rifle skill is 65, and my dexterity is 80. So basically, the first thing, the player declares the number of rounds to be fired, which may be any number, up to the capacity of the gun. Uh, number of bullets fired is divided into a series of volleys. That's how it's done, so. In general, you don't want to fire more than four volleys, because anything more than four volleys, it's going to be like two penalty dice and a hard success or an extreme success. So since his rifle is 65 and his uh, dex is 80, what's, what's how many volleys? <coughs> well, a volley is a number of bullets up to or equal to the fire's skill divided by 10. Six. All right, so he can fire up to six volleys. And the Lord is going to send down uh, two volleys right at this thing. How many bullets in each volley? I think... Uh, I think five. Sounds good. The first volley is just a regular roll. Uh, you missed it. Roll to 95. Second volley will be with a penalty die. Roll again. Oh, you're going to take the worst result. It's going to be 91 anyway. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, because of that penalty die, you have to take the fail roll, fortunately. Mm. You shoot at it, your bullets kind of hit the wall next to it. Jay? So it scares it away. <laughs> Dogs don't like loud noises, man. So the one that Jang hit is the one that's uh, down the hall further from him right now? Yeah, I think so. Moved away from you. I hit that one too. Yeah, that's the one these two guys are shooting at, I assume. Yes. <laughs> this thing will have no mercy. Finish him off, X. Mm -hmm. So, so they're they're shooting shooting at it. I, I don't know if I want to get involved in the fire skill. Kill them. With all this, I, I mean, is there a chance that he could get hit by the firearms if he... Well, I mean, if, well, if he if he runs if he runs up and attacks it in the next turn, well, I open think... fire on it and you're still up there, yeah. Then then they have to roll penalty dice. Yeah, right. so Zhang will whap this one beside him. That's uh... what did Sebastian do last turn? I I uh, I was dodging, but it attacked me, so I I smacked it. With... Um, Some kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat, gun. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I hit it with my submachine gun. Okay, so he'll use his bow stick on that one that's in front of Sebastian. A dodge. So that's a success by one. Nice roll. Or two points. <laughs> And it matches your level of success with dodge, so it dodges. Okay. Sebastian? I'm going to try to... Uh, what was that? Everyone good? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, hit it with the scorpion, not, uh, not firing it. I'm gonna just going to try to, you know... Just hand to hand it with the things since everybody's piled up there. I think the rule is, is that you get a penalty die if you fire into melee, basically. <coughs> I miss. Yucky rolls, guys. We need to do better than that. Christ. <laughs> Uh, 
That was the wrong. Yeah. I guess it, it's, no, it's it's gonna dodge. Oh, he failed, so it doesn't. Oh. All right. So kind of a standoff, <laughs> a little standoff going there. Okay, so now it looks like we're into the ghouls. The ghoul attack. By the way, Lee, I think if you hover over the turn order. If you hover over the ghouls, it'll show a yellow box around the one that should be going. See what I mean? If you hover over the name of the uh, guy in the turn order box, it'll put a yellow box around the exact token that whose turn it is. If that makes sense. It looks like it's going to be the one on Juliet. It's dodging. Oh, it did dodge. Yeah, it can move, though, if it likes. A little bit. Right. This one, this one moves back. What? It, it, that was its turn. Mm. That one didn't already go, did it? No, I think that's the last one. He hasn't gone yet. And he didn't dodge, so we should be able to attack, I think. This time, he, he's attacking Humperdick. Are you gonna dodge or fight back or? Uh, how how could I fight? I mean, like a hand to hand? I get a hand to hand roll, fight back. Yeah. So, can you explain how the fight back works? If you if you hit, then if if both hit, then what happens? And fight back. The person who's fighting back has to get a greater level of success than the attacker to actually do damage. And that makes the attacker miss. So if he gets a regular gotcha. success, fighting back, and you and you're fighting back, you need a hard success or better to cancel his attack and do damage to him instead. Okay. And if you fail on your fight back, then what happens? Then it hits you. Okay. It hits. What do I roll? Fight. Yep. Let's fight brawl. Oh. Uh, Brawl. This is... There you oh, go. Oh, man. Hey, man. Cool. Smack it in the face of the butt of your, Uzi, your Uzi. Exactly. Which, so it's, it's one to six plus your hand to hand damage. Gotta get a uh, bayonet on that Uzi, man. I know. Go full pulp. I stick my <laughs> the, the barrel into the hole that I made earlier. <laughs> With surgical precision. Yes. Uh, one D three. What's one D three double D double D B? Is that double damage? What does that mean? Damage bonus. Oh, what's my damage bonus? see here 1d4 so it's 1 to 6 plus 1 to 4 Tom. oh okay all right here's my 1d6 here's my 1d4 six points cool so it's going to claw you again or attempt to you're going to fight back Dude, again isn't, isn't this thing dead yet now remember, not only do you have the option to fight back, but you can either dodge, and we know that, but you can also maneuver, which is also a fighting brawl roll. 
And what a maneuver is, it's any kind of melee combat that doesn't, isn't intended to do damage to the target. Things like knock it to the floor, or uh, get it into a bear hug, or a choke Cast hold. it into the fire. Cast it into the fire, throw it out the window, whatever. It's like a, res <laughs> like a wrestling move would be a maneuver, but it's also fighting brawl. <laughs> is there a fire pit somewhere around? <laughs> See one. <laughs> okay. Roll luck mm. to see if you find a fire pit. <laughs> that I can throw this thing into. <laughs> yeah, it's like that acid head uh, warrior line instead of tool shit is like fire pit. Yeah, fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So I mean, can I? So I keep going then. Or I do another. I do another. Uh, or my turn's over, right? Well, that was the ghoul's turn. You were fighting back. Okay. Alright, did it, did it do its second attack or only one? Um, it did one claw attack, I think. Yeah, yeah. so it's gonna claw again, Tom. Are you gonna, you gonna fight back again? Absolutely. Oh, see, he failed. Nope. So he's helping, he's hoping I don't bitch slap him, is what he's hoping. Here we go. Brawl. Smack! Yay! Nice. One to six. Two to oh. Smack! Bitch slap. Smack crack! 1d4 and 1d what? Six? Oh yeah! Nice comeback. Nice. Crack crack! You smash your... Uzi through its face. Cotton gray brain matter flies out everywhere on your shoes. Just like splitting a log back at old grandpappy's. <laughs> <laughs> Says Humber. You can pick up your lucky piece of baloney now. <laughs> All right, so now we're to Juliet, I believe. All right, she's going to bust this thing up with her nunchucks. Also, some Eagle Claw Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, she'll make her first attack and then decide whether she wants to make that second attack or not. So it can... Uh... I think it dodged, so it can't fight back. I think that's the rule. I don't think you. I, th I think if you dodge, you can't fight back either. If I'm not check real quick, I'll just take a second. Know this. Okay, find it right away. I don't know, I think maybe just you can fight your... back even if you've dodged, you just miss your next action on your turn. So it can fight back Lee if it wants. Or actually, no, no, no. It dodge, so it's, dodge. It, can do it gets dodge rolls on my attack, that's what it is. So it can dodge. And I'm gonna roll a crit right here, watch this. Boom! <sighs> I only missed it by two. I'll spend two luck. That'll be a regular success. Okay, it dodged. In this so what does that mean? Do you still get it? Well, uh, on a, if you dodge something, if you meet its level of success of the attack, you dodge it. Unlike fight back, where you have to actually beat the level of success. Another good reason to dodge most of the time. I am going to spend 10 luck for uh, my uh, rapid attack. That one. 
I'm really using up my luck here. All right, again. You can dodge again. Come on. God! <laughs> what the hell? You hit your other knee now. Dude. Actually hit the same knee. Oh. One to four. <laughs> you might have you you might have broken your patella, you're not sure. Oh god. It hurts. Oh my god. That's why I'll it take it. Uh, hurts bad. Three, because I do have armor. Okay. End of the round. From here on out, guys, we're gonna roll good, okay? Okay. Nobody dies. If we believe hard enough, it'll happen. Nobody dies. If we believe hard that. enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that needs to be on a poster somewhere. <laughs> I want somebody on the tournament telling me hard to believe enough. harder. <laughs> we will all believe die. harder. On three. Three, two, one. Believe! <laughs> right. So All right, so my new clip is again. in, so I unload on this thing. Actually, you Actually, were. Wait a minute, where you were, am I? You were, you were right here. You were re, you were reloading. That's right. Then I was fighting this thing off as it hit. Okay, so I guess I'm. Am I reloaded yet or not yet? Well, not yet. You'll be reloaded next round, Tom. All right. So I'm <laughs> hanging out here. And as I'm here, I'm like looking around as I'm reloading. I'm like, do I see anything? Can I spot hidden as I reload? Not, not really. I mean, you're kind of in the middle of combat, man. It's craziness. You're trying to get your clip in and ratchet around in there. Oh, that's like must. You can, you can look around the room. Yeah, you, can, you see the stone table. You see this membered body up there. On uh, this tablet? Yeah, on the stone table. And then you hit the, there's stone shelving on one side, and it looks like there's something. It's hard to tell what's in there. What's this over here? It's a dark corner. Oh, dude, fuck that. Okay, I'm re reloading on I'm aiming at that. Hur okay, hurry up. Whose turn is it? <laughs> Gonna be Aloysius next. Fuck that shit. Aloysius, <coughs> the creature that the uh, Jane tried to uh, bow staff. He's pulling out his sword and just like rushing this thing and just stabbing it. Trying to stab it. You drop your AK, you pull your sword, you run up and you stab it. Go ahead and roll your, uh, roll your sword skill. Oh! Wow. Slice and dice. Success. Get so, to mood engaged. You see Aloysia run up. Dodge. Aloysia, Aloysia. It's going to be an additional damage die or crit. How much, uh, with that, how, what? How much damage? It'll just be another D10. You rolled 10 damage already. Is it 1D10? I think it's 1D10 plus 1 to 4. Not sure a sword does 1D10, but... Maybe it's 1 to 8 if it's cavalry saber. It should be on your... It should be on your own. Yeah, it should be 1D8 plus 1. Oh. So roll 2D8 two, two plus 1. I'm just gonna change that. 1d8 plus 1. 2. 2d8. Yeah, you get double damage basically with the impale. I roll it again. I do uh, roll, an damage? roll another d8. It's a 1d8 plus Two. 1 is the normal damage, and then you roll a d8 for the crit. Roll another d8. It'll be 9. Right, Lock up. Be 
behind this thing with this cavalry saber and he chops <laughs> his head off. Nice. <laughs> Blue and gray ichor spurt out of this thing's neck. It's disgusting. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Okay. So, Zhang will uh, continue to turn to the left and try and whack this thing that's in front of him. Is he attacking the back of it? Yes. And does that matter? It's, it's a melee. Yeah, I don't think so, not mechanically. Um, what, what does matter, though, actually, if uh, something is engaged with more than one uh, right, you get a bonus dice, right? You do, you get a bonus die. Kind of like an outnumbered rule kind of thing. So the attacker gets a bonus die against him. He'll try to dodge. Oop. I didn't roll correctly <laughs> nice. on the bonus die. Let me, so then the bonus die is another roll, right? Yeah, essentially. Is that right? Yep. And you'll take the better of the two. So two hard successes. Nice. So yeah, can I use luck to make an ex <laughs> And he failed his dodge. Can Good. I use luck to make it a an extreme success? Is that Ooh. something that can um, be done? I think I think technically it is. Um What does that do if you if you're if it's extreme? Double damage, right? Right, so oh. pale basically. He gets to show off. He could. I understand. How much luck? <laughs> so it's 24 points of luck. A lot of luck. He's got. Yeah, you can do that if you wish. Uh, I don't know. We're taking these things down pretty quickly. Um, I might save that luck. So he'll just do regular, the regular hit. Nice. There you go. Eight points. Smash this thing in the face, it falls to the ground. I Let's take it. I crush his oh, throat with my boot. Crunch. Rubbery, oh, gross. Oh. Sebastian bows to Mr. X. <laughs> you hear some bones crunching in there. All right, let's take a let's take a little break, guys. All right, yeah. Cool. All right. Five minutes. Sounds good.
I am back. Hello. Oh. A warship just cutting that head off that thing. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. I've always loved swords and Call of Cthulhu. Some What's the time? My character doesn't know this, but uh, uh, that blade has a chance of being blessed. actually came from the dreamland somehow, huh? Mm-hmm. His father survived everything. I bet you there will come a time where we will continue the Shadows of Yogg-Sothoth campaign into dreamlands. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Revisit I'm those old characters. Back. All right, so is it is it the top of the order? Is it my turn? I, be, I believe we left off with Aloysia. Aloysia basically uh, beheading uh, one of these things. <laughs> I know he beheaded him, but uh, Zhang put the final blow on this one in front of us. Right, so yeah, they're all dead. That, I guess that would put us out of initiative for the time being. Or we need to know what's like here in this dark area. That's not good. Yeah, we just made. I'm reloading. Really also need in that way. Shallows. Place is full of gun smoke. It is full of gun smoke. Don't trip over all those casings on the floor there. <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> I'll try not to. It's not the reference book. Uh, I shouldn't talk. I'm the one rolling all the fumbles tonight. It's okay. I have a severe. Hello, hello. I have a. I have a severe limp. Yes. I think I just broke my leg, guys. Ow. Does the doctor need hey, first aid? Hey, don't partake. Yeah, Doc, how about heading us up with some first yeah. aid here? We're bleeding and uh That's that's I'm and I'm I'm bleeding too, so first aid for everybody. Yay! Bleeding first and aid all around. 
So show me where you guys are on the map. You're all spread out. You can't be doing first aid on each other 15 feet away. All right, well, I think we're going to collect down here. And it's I'm telepathic. Gonna... First aid. Show me where you are. There's, <laughs> there's something right here, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, so we don't want to be out in the open. The Maybe. There's something so, on the hills, so. If we're going to do first aid, we should be up in here. That corner. All right, I agree. All right. Aloysia is the most heal the one with the... Uh, so we're, we're back here and we're doing first the, aid. Aloysia is basically standing guard. Alright, so who's first? Call it out. So with these rolls, the person who has the best first aid skill should roll, but they should also get help. So you'll get a bonus die. Okay, I have... First aid of 80. Who wants help first? Well, according to my health bars here, it looks um, like Sebastian's down four. Okay, Sebastian, this is for you. All right, there you go. How many is that? It's a 1d3. Pulp this? Yeah. Oh, man. Normally it's one. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who, who wants some? Who wants? Who's next? Me, please. Awesome. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, my leg. You're my welcome. leg. Ow, my leg. My leg. My leg. Ooh, Ooh. extreme. Oh. I set that leg, man, dude. You know you had a compound fracture, but I fixed it. Wow. So Lee can. Oh uh... well, but, but you might want to take it easy because it's a little thunder. Can Jang listen while while the healing's going on? Sure. Who's next? I think it's I'm you. Gonna, I'm gonna do me. And Success. he's acting stealthily. I get one point. Uh, he does not hear well. Make sure you check that skill too, Tom. Copy that. Cool, guys. Jango when I roll that extreme first aid, does that double damage or double healing for the extreme? No, I think only in, in like a healing, like a hospital setting when somebody's trying to okay. determine whether their major wound goes away. I think it comes to the effect that it Okay. Um, I could be wrong, though. I will, I will look it up. I think you might be right. But for now, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So now let's, we need to plan our attack. Like, well, well, I think Zhang said he was going to listen. Is he going to allow that, Lay? Is he going to listen? He doesn't hear anything. Okay. Who's, uh, who's up? Hey, uh, doctor, let's go check the shelving first before we go anywhere else. No, dude, I'm ready to walk in right here and then shoot right here and just open up a bunch of shells right yeah. into that. You know I'm right in front. Well, I'll, I'll go about, I'll go, I'll come right next to you. Are there any other passageways in this? You're still up in the hallway, you really can't see. But... <coughs> no. Aloysia basically uh, investigates uh, the stone table. Right, so it's it's covered in, it looks like a dismembered body. Mm. M's, various parts. Stripping mm. the skin, the skin off some of these arms and stuff. It's pretty disturbing. Yeah. Upper deck. And we we say we say we see no correlation between any of these guys whose bones have been stripped. Yeah, you uh, you figured out that uh, at least some of the missing people actually had burial arrangements with this funeral home. Oh, that's right. You know, the people had disappeared. And you actually found some paperwork that you know these these the same people who had disappeared were actually clients of this. Did make that connection, yeah. So it's a it's a large 
room. It's all stone. It's white. There's blood splattered in various places. Uh, there's, like I said, there's a dismembered body in the center on the stone table, and you see there's a large stone set of shelving. Looks like there's bundles. There's like four little cubby holes, you know, in each section. But in the corner, it just it's like this black space over here in the corner. Mark over there. I'll move up in the room. Is this stone table kind of cut out of the floor, or is it separate from the floor? I'm going to inspect the stone table. It's, it's part of the floor. It's like been carved from the floor. Covered with dry blood and fresh blood. He said there's a dismembered corpse on top of it. Oh, I should just gonna look like towards the shelves just to uh, see what's in them. There's yeah. some type of bundles in them. Hmm. Juliet's gonna pull out her flashlight and shine the light over there. Sebastian's gonna do. The same thing. Come around the corner, use the flashlight. Oh, that's an excellent idea. I keep. <laughs> you got a. I got got a frag grenade in her other hand. Flashlight would help. Yeah. <laughs> Shang, what are you doing? All these guys are doing this. From the hallway. Um. Can he move up to the stone table and inspect it? He can move up into the room, sure. So you you shine your flashlights. Where are you shining your flashlights? What what place were? You? Over there to the uh, like east side of the room like over here. Over here. Yeah, so you you shine your flashlights and it just kind of doesn't illuminate that corner at all. Uh oh. There's a black spot over there. It's kind of odd. Can I, can I roll my Cthulhu Mythos? <coughs> Tom. What? I don't think so. Not in this particular instance, no. That's not natural. All right. Your lad's going to shine her flashlight back in this other direction over here. Kind of move along the wall, just checking out the wall. Are there any looking for any openings or cracks? Because remember, we saw that, like, Rack in the wall in the other place in uh, Miller's yeah, house. Yeah, look up the ceiling too. Yeah, See we're looking for any kind of ingress into the room here. My flashlight. <clears throat> hey, Sebastian. We should probably invest the shelving while still checking the corner. Wait, let's just put some rounds in here. It's like open up in here. Like Humperdinck, he's done loading and he opens up. <laughs> It just fires into there? Preemptive strike. Yeah. I fire into the dark shadow. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. And so what the hell was that? As you, as you as you turn to fire into the dark shadow, man, this shape. Dark shadow. And it's standing right there. And I'll I'll post a picture in Discord so you can see okay. exactly what it is. Alright, I, I have my chainsaw out instead then. <laughs> Sounds like something <laughs> kill. <laughs> uh huh. That's right. Who's laughing now? You can see it's it's Bruner. Oh shit. He doesn't look. He he looks like that in the picture. When he transformed into some sort of. Sure. Well, it kind of looks like Bruner. <laughs> I do like the cat noises from previous. <laughs> I heard like somebody uh, doing cat noises. So. No, he's not quite human, obviously. <laughs> Oh, 
This guy, is this guy insane? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Aloysia. His very sharp teeth. Like. You, you can't be this level of activity without being insane. When you start peeling flesh off bodies for, you know, <laughs> reading the magic spell. Exactly, <laughs> secret uh, little orphan right, Annie messages. Yeah, you cross, you've crossed over. Which is why he must be destroyed. <laughs> and I What's going on with stay. the fight, bro? I'll tell you in just a second. So. Zanya, like what on rice? Yeah, he moves. He... He moves in between you guys impossibly fast, and with one hand, he... The Jang has that contains the book and rips it off his body. Oh, and no! And he back here. Aloysia with his hand. So he, you he can try to dodge. And his hand around at your face. Uh, Aloysia will <laughs> He can fight back, or he can... Hey, Aloysia would dodge. Just want to take this moment to wish everyone good luck. No! I would say, if you could spend luck, spend the luck. I will spend You rolled luck. a 99. Ugh. I will spend the luck. Oh, he just needs a 95, though. Wow. I will, will spend the luck. Actually, I have a 95. The dice gods continue to mock us. <laughs> huh. Are you going to have to spend a lot of... Uh, he's going to have to match... Which one is it? The... He needs to match a hard... So he needs to match so a... He's, yeah, hard You're going to have to spend like 40... Years. You're going to have to spend quite a bit of luck, Aiden. It might be uh, worth it, though. I will do it. <laughs> right, so you need basically the rest of my uh, luck points. Yeah, you needed a 19 to dodge the extreme success. You need a 47 to dodge the hard success. Oh, I thought the extreme success was pulling the. He said, yeah. "Get the book first, then attack." Oh, okay. And... All right. Okay. Yeah, the extreme success was he. He grabbed the backpack and just ripped it right off. What shifty body. bastard! Are you gonna let him do that, he Tom? Tries to backhand All right, Harry. No. What are you gonna do about that? Take it back. Okay, okay, so he's, um, can Jang dodge in that situation then, or something? He doesn't get a chance to. That's an extreme uh, success. That's hard. You're gonna have to spend away. 52 luck points, Aiden. Can I roll a dodge um, and see if I can stop him? Well, he basically surprised you guys. I mean, he's he basically. Yeah. It was a surprise okay. attack, and you guys are looking. He's in the middle of you. You're like, I did. Book. He'll try and wrestle. He'll try and wrestle the book back away from him. I guess. Well, I think it's it's a humper dick. Or are you gonna try to you're gonna try maneuver against his extreme? <coughs> yeah, I think that would be valid. Like a maneuver to keep to like hold on to the book, so they're both kind of yeah. like tug tug of war over the over the book. Yeah, you can do that. You need an extreme success, though. You have, to, you have to get an extreme, yeah. Come on. Come on! Well I, mean, well, I don't know. Tactically, though, if it's like a fighting back kind of thing, he can't beat an extreme. Right. True. That's true, yeah. So you, tr you try to hang on to it, man, but he rips it out of your hands. Okay. So then he'll... So now it's, uh, it's, it's Humper Dick, right? We're going in ish-nish order here. Too bad you didn't right. lather it in contact okay. poison. Prize the hell out of you guys, man. It's in the middle of you. It's got the book in one hand. Okay, can I make a suggestion, though? Guys yeah. are going. So, so, like in the rules, if someone's tied in initiative order, I think the rules say there should be like a roll off to see who goes first. But I think it might be good to, to switch up this order since everybody has 80s. Maybe right. for, for this round? Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. you'd like to just determine it randomly? Oh, I'm going to roll a d4 here. Yeah, okay. that sounds fun. Yeah, let's do that. 
just to kind of spread things out. A little variety, yeah. But two. So Sebastian would. Uh, wait a minute, how am I going to do this? So yeah, two. Or, or actually, how about if we you just want do it each kind of in, to roll? No, how about if we just do it in reverse order from the way we did it the first round? Okay. You know what I'm saying? That'll do make, it. It'll make it simpler. Scratch out my tiny screen here. So it's going to be. Um, it was Aloysia first, then Jiang, then Sebastian, then Humperdinck. How's that? So it's going to be. Sounds I good. Think, I think that's right. So now it's going to be Aloysia. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, let me resort them here. It, why did it do that? It automatically reset it. <laughs> Time to roll 20. Finicky. All right, Aloysia. Wreak havoc, brother. No mercy. Uh, Nobody I, dies. Uh, I, I uh, attack him. You use on your sword. Yeah. <coughs> he'll he'll fight back. Oh. oh. Yes, he does. He'll do his damage to Elisha. Fighting with claws, book. Heads. Huh? His hands. He's, ah! He's carrying oh. a book in one hand, doesn't he? <laughs> Literally, like, deflects the sword with his forearm and backhand you. Boom! Jesus. Hell. Right. Jang. I believe, right? Yep. Me, Jang, then Sebastian. <laughs> the book. The book. Damn it, Jang. We were counting <laughs> on you to protect the book. Yeah. Can he do a maneuver to jump on what the book is, like, in a satchel or? It's in a, it's in a, yeah, it's like in a backpack. I assume he had it in a satchel or a backpack, and okay, Brunner's got it in his hand, he's clutching it tightly. All right, so Zhang will try and do some gymnastic maneuver to catch him off guard and knock it out of his hands or, or grab it from him or something. Uh, he'll fight, he'll fight back. Does he get a bonus dice for multiple people attacking the same? Um, te technically, you would get a bonus die on your attack, Harry. So roll again. We'll take the better of the two. I'm Yay! Pretty, pretty sure how that's, that's how it works. Well, and he can fight back, right, against the maneuver? Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> The old man got distracted by Aloysia. Yeah, so this is kind of like a maneuver versus a maneuver. And in that case, that's where this build stat comes in. So Zhang's build is zero. If um, Miller has, or Bruner has a higher build, like one or higher. <laughs> he has a plus one. Well, he, yeah, then that would give Zhang actually a penalty die on his roll. If the opponent's build is higher than his. So those two rolls that Harry made, we would take the less, the worst us. Well, actually, he had a bonus die, right? Anyway, so they cancel each other out. Mm. You know what I'm saying. 
Okay, yeah. So Brunner doesn't do any damage. He doesn't get the book. Right. Trying to grab this thing away from him, man. His this guy has like a steel grip. So is the book in contention between the two of us now, or he still has it in his possession? Has it in his possession, man? But you realize this guy is incredibly strong. For an old man, he's incredibly strong. Sebastian's going to be up next, and then Humperdick. All right, is it my turn then? It is. Yep. Her man, I'll try to strike this guy with the uh, butt of the gun. I don't want to be firing close in with everybody here, so. Fight back. Nice. Oh, yeah. Stream. So it's uh, 2d6 plus 1d4. That sounds right. I would say using a gun is an improvised, improvised weapon. Is that six damage? At least in pulp. Oh. Plus 1d4. Ten points of damage. Yay! Oh, yay! Right in the spleen. <laughs> Ooh. All right, what are you using? A submachine gun? Yeah. I'm going to across the bridge of his face. You can hear some bones break. <laughs> that is fine. Humper Tech uses a... Use your... Chainsaw, use your chainsaw man. This... Chainsaw. Rub your lucky piece of baloney. <laughs> yeah, roll to start the chainsaw kidding <laughs> it's, it's, it's clogged <laughs> won't start <laughs> you, you have been rolling around the ground with it so oh dude it, it's 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 not like your dad's chainsaw this is a highly polished surgical tool it's like a it's a bone <laughs> saw Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Humber yeah. doesn't it's take a, care of himself personally. The he kind that's not that. used to being rolled around in the dirt. Right, <laughs> right, right. But it's extremely, you know, basically reliable. A, it, it's basically a souped up Husqvarna with some grip tape on it so you don't Re slip out of your hand. <laughs> no, no, it's made in the USA. It's the AK-47 of uh, chainsaws. Yeah. It's special. <laughs> Success. Oh, oh, dude. He beat you on the fight back. Ooh. Okay. Uh, can I use luck to do something? Use luck, man. You can. You need a hard success. You would have had to roll a 30. You rolled a 46. That's 16 so luck. So I have to roll 16 luck, and then that what that means? He takes the damage? Yep. Do it. I'm going to do that. This guy needs Done. to die. Yeah. I used the luck. Take you the can, points, bitch. You come, you come forward with the chainsaw, man, and amazingly, he, he, he actually deflects it for a second. But then you change the angle and you start digging into his arm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Like a chainsaw. Who's uppercut. laughing now? <laughs> Who's laughing now? We're just all attacking this old man who has the strength of ten men. Excellent. <laughs> old monster, more like it. No man. And remember, he's a yeah, Nazi. He's... <laughs> Either worse, Aloysia. Aloysia is gonna attack. Um, I'm gonna say something to him that's gonna anger him as a Nazi. I've seen your records; they're unorganized. <laughs> <laughs> Aloysia uh, looks over and is like, "Nazi scum." Is that the right damage for the chainsaw? Is that twelve damage? Yes, twelve points. Yes, I believe. I mean, All right. you, you definitely tear into tear into him, Tom. Nice. Taking twenty-two so far. <laughs> All right, uh, Juliet's gonna pounce on him with the nunchucks. All right, Juliet, no knee shots. Right. <laughs> I 
Come on, we need you. Cross my fingers here. Nunchucks don't fail me now. Yes. Oh, yeah. Boom! It's a crit. You gonna fight back, Lee? Or yes. maneuver, maneuver or dodge? Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna fight back. Oh. <laughs> He has a good whack on the head. We'll take uh, 2d8. What's my damage bonus? <laughs> 17 damage. Whoa. Oh my god. The points are really starting to pile up now. And dude, I'm gonna use my rapid nice. attack. I'm spending 10 luck. Just be down to 29 luck. Gulp. For another attack. He's taken 39 points so far. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine him. Take that! Just like oh honest. no! <laughs> oh, damn, dude. How did I roll three 100s in one night with my nunchucks? I'm sorry, guys, it never <laughs> happens. Dude. I'm like a highly trained, just... skilled warrior. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to vet out that um, the fact that you really don't roll them out. <laughs> <laughs> Your chances of getting them are unlimited. <clears throat> no. It's just the force this thing is emanating. Am I going to hit myself or, or what again? Is that what I'm going to do? Uh, roll, roll D100. Yeah, okay. Let's say 50, and let's say you have a 50% chance of Fail, you might hit one of your teammates here. And knock myself unconscious. Well, you managed to hit yourself. Okay. You don't, okay. Hit, you don't hit another party member. See, it's one to four. You hit your kneecap again. <laughs> nah, you scream out in pain. Ah! Is, is it the same kneecap? The same kneecap, too, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's starting to swell. To cut your pants Starting off. to. Alright, top of the round. Good work. Runner's up. Wait, Humperdinck didn't go. Did? Humperdinck did go. Yeah, this You're is... right, I did a chainsaw on 12 points. Yes, yeah. it was all so awesome. I forgot. Go! And the Nazi still has the book, right? He still has the book, yeah. Do we all roll a four-sided dice, or...? He's got, he's got, a, collection, got a collection in his hand. I think Lee's deciding if Broner's gonna attack here. He's gonna, he's gonna attack Sebastian first. He's striking you with his hands, Sebastian. I don't know if you want to dodge or fight back, or... Um, fight back. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll fight back. Yeah. Good man. Nice, six points. Oh, <laughs> this guy is supposed to die. We're just beating on an old man now. Right, he's so he's forty-five uh, now. He's gonna he's gonna attempt to uh, strike Aloysia with his hand. I attack with my sword. Right back, okay. He gets that's another attack in. Yeah, it's a fail on the fight back. Hmm. 
to do damage, correct? Uh, Bruner will do damage, yep. One. Okay. <laughs> He yeah, barely captured me. He just like gentle hit. He, and he pushes his way through you guys. He strikes twice and he and he moves through. He's still facing oh. you. Yeah, we're definitely trying to keep him here. Still facing you. Juliet screams, Don't let him get away, and she takes a step forward and falls on the ground. <laughs> See him. He's he's reaching his hand into his into his coat. Oh, oh, he he pulls out the, the, he's got the book in yeah. one hand. He's got the book in one hand, and he's he's reaching some. He's reaching into his coat for something. I I go and attack him. Probably not a pocket watch. I bet it's that Luger pistol that I booby trapped. <laughs> oh. I go and I like I go in with my sword. Going in. That's a hard success. One D eight plus. Well, you can fight back. Dodge. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, come on! This guy does not. Ah, oh, come on. Another caress. Oh. Does that mean he? Does that mean he can't attack us next time? No, oh. Can. You can always fight back if you're being attacked. Again, man, you, you you run up and you swing your saber at this guy, and you, impossibly again, man, he blocks it with his hand and strikes you again. Boom! Take eight points of damage. Oh. Aloysius just, just staggers back against Yikes. the stone table. Ay 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 gonna be Zhang and Sebastian <laughs> so Zhang will do uh, some sort of somersault tumbling run at this guy to <coughs> knock him off balance to knock him off his feet yep that'd be a maneuver the fighting brawl like trying to sweep his legs or kick and him square in the chest I think he'll get Bonus dice for uh, multiple attackers. You well, I don't see that he's actually being attacked on multiple multiple sides at the moment. But you would get a penalty die because of his build. Let's see, yours. Any maneuvers against somebody who has a higher build than you will get a penalty die. Okay. Because he's so much bigger than you are. And he can either you know he can still fight back or maneuver or dodge. All right, so, um, yeah, he'll try and knock him off balance. Yeah, that's a good move. We need to keep him from getting away. And... Definitely. Penalty die, that's still uh, a success. Success. Yay. is successful so what does he do exactly he does this uh, you know cartwheel into a forward flip and kicks him it I don't know in the leg or something trips him up uh, I mean he basically does a double flip and sweeps his leg and kicks him so he's like on the ground Okay. Well done, well done. <clears throat> so that so, doesn't do damage, is that right? That's right. Correct. But he's on the ground here now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run up and spray him with the scorpion. <laughs> nice. Like raid. Do your battle cry. <clears throat> <laughs> Die old man! Or for France. <laughs> All right. For so, France. 
<laughs> Viva right. la France! Uh, uh, Viva la Monaco! <laughs> okay, so, um... Let's see here. I'm using the scorpion. So, how many times can I shoot with this thing in a given round? You can shoot as many bullets as you want, and you can shoot a number of volleys <laughs> equal to your dex divided by 10. How many bullets does it hold? It holds. Five or uh, thir 20, actually. Okay. So, if you just want to empty your clip, maybe do like four volleys of five. Four volleys of five. There's gonna be four rolls. All right. And uh, the first roll has no penalty. He Unless, can't fight. He can't fight back. Against he can't. The best. The best he can do right now is dive for cover, quote unquote. Um, and th what that would do is, if he successfully dodges with the dive for cover, it would give Sebastian a penalty die and an additional penalty die on all his rolls. But it works just like dodge. He wouldn't be able to take his next action on his turn. Right. Gotcha. Okay. He's not dodging. He's not dodging. He can't. He, he can't dodge because he was incapacitated by Zhang. Okay. So my first uh, volley is. Yeah. So really, since it's, since half the bullets hit, it was five bullet. We should do four volleys of four. Is that way only two bolts are going to hit if you fire five bullets anyway so that makes sense just keep just let me know how much i need to yeah, roll two, uh, two bullets hit so roll damage for two hits so 2d6 and what's a score is a score 2d 2d8 i'm sorry yeah all right so the first volley he takes eight all right, so the second volley, you get a penalty die. One penalty die. So hit the gray button. Yep. We're going to look at the minus one count, minus one row. Still hits. Yes. So 2d8 again. Yep. We've got them okay. right where we want them. <laughs> Next volley. Two penalty dice. Uh, minus two, that's a fail. Okay. And, and then, then again. Last volley will be two penalty dice, and you need a hard success. We're looking at minus two <coughs> rows, gotta be hard. Fail. All right. And you fired 16 bullets. All right, so I got one volley left. Yeah. For next turn, got it. Now, okay, thank you for walking me through that. Yeah, now technically, though, we might want to take another look at this because technically at point blank range, you should have double your chance to hit. <coughs> um, you have a 75, mm. but the best chance you can have to hit is a 99. So let's see what rules. First one hit, second volley, two penalty die, would have been a eight, I don't think, or a 43, that wouldn't have hit, 87 hit, the last one, they, none of them would have even hit, even 99, <coughs> my calculations are right, I'm sure they are. Yeah. Not <laughs> just gonna eyeball yeah. it here. Okay, well, it took right. another 22 points. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's ebbing into Dude. the uh, 60 Twilight to zone. 70 range in damage. Uh, it's gonna be Humper Dick. You're up, Tommy. Go at him with the. Let's cut him up with a chainsaw. Yeah. Does that sound fine? This time, go for his arm. Cut off his arm. Yeah, I'm, I'm slicing the arm off. Those of you who lost limbs, leave them here. They belong to me. <laughs> you'll get a uh, you'll get a bonus die for him being outnumbered, Tommy. So roll again, oh. take the better better roll. 
come on. There you go. Yay. Oh, wait, you rolled, wait a minute, you rolled blackjack. Wait. It's, it's still 60, though. It's all right. Wait, so if I rolled, if I used 11 luck, would that make it a, uh, an extreme and I could remove a limb? I think technically that's the rule, yeah. Oh, Do dude. It. 11 points of luck, baby, and I'm taking this guy's arm. The one that's going for something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's nine points of luck, I think, actually, yeah. Or nine points, sorry. So. So I take that limb with me. Thank you very much. <laughs> All your damage. What was he going for? Does it fall out on the floor, or does it drop into my other hand? Well, let's see how much let's see how much damage you do, and I'll tell you what happens. Esteban's okay. first dismemberment. What? I'm sorry. How, what, what do I roll for damage? I'm sorry. Um, damage well, for a chainsaw. With the chainsaw. Two, is it two D eight? Is that damage for a chainsaw? Um, I have to look at his character sheet. That's what it says on his first roll. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yep, two D eight. Two. So it's a uh, seven. Hey right, man, you see Humper Dick runs forward into the scrum with his chainsaw on this thing's arm. Sure enough, Tom, you cut its arm off and its eyes kind of flutter back in its head and it collapses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. It's its hand rolls out and this grenade pops out. And the pin pops out. Ching. Oh fuck! Oh no. no! We'll stop right there. Oh man! <laughs> Just had to cut we'll, his we'll, arm. We'll, we'll, let it, we'll, we'll let everybody go. And who's in turn? We'll let everybody go. Who's in turn order? Grenade! Oh, I think we okay. still have so, so it's Juliet, and then. Okay. Right, Dude, use your bum knee to kick that thing into the other room. <laughs> well, looks like it's just Juliet who's gonna get to go. Um, take it across the floor. Screw that, dude. How much does a grenade do? It's like an depends insane, on what kind it is. It's an insane amount of damage. Take yeah. um, <laughs> it. Is it a Willie Peter grenade? Is it an incendiary grenade? Who knows what it's it is? probably just really, a smoke just grenade. This thing roll out. I'm gonna kind of side of, side of caution here. I'm going to duck back into this hallway when I see the grenade. If all you guys die, who's going to be able to collect the book? Oh, only, only you. So she's going to oh, definitely wait, take, Jane's take in front of me, so... That would be the end of the round. Shane <laughs> is in front of me, so... Oh, you don't... You, you're, you're a soldier. You've seen grenades go off, man. You're like, oh, God. Yeah, you're... you're you're all definitely in range of this thing. Dude, it's a willy Pete, I'll bet you. <laughs> that, that's what that's what he would do, I think. Yeah, but it just the pit just came out of it. We still got time to get out of here. I guess we'll have to wait I to mean, find out. When is the last time you seen somebody pull a pin and then they their hand explodes? <laughs> can you put a know. can it's you put a, a pin back in? Can you put a pin back in? <laughs> Could? No. I don't know, dude. I think once it's primed, it it once yeah. the triggers fire, or once the, once the, and yeah, that's true. Once it's once the fuse is going, once the fuse is going, I don't think putting the pin in does anything. No. But you you can try. Got it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. that's you can normally the this, yeah. this, this is pull for rules. <laughs> it's pull for rules. That's right. No, I would I would know from my experience. It. Someone could. I, someone I think could, you're right. Once someone could grab it and throw it. I'm gonna throw it down the if, throw it down the hallway down here. <laughs> if you're really brave and you're a true hero, you could just jump on top of it. That's true. That's true. That's, that is an option. Dude. Some could sacrifice themselves. <laughs> no, Here you go. Book. It, it's like it, the grenade is like partially under the book. Wait, the way Take the book. What? Well, whose turn is it? Is it my right, turn? It's like Shit. right there. It's like right there, man. It's like right on top of it almost. What a so is it my douche Nazi this guy is. Is it my turn? I For grab real. the book or are we going to... Oh, no, it's Elijah's turn. No, yeah, we're going to... We, I got to stop here, guys, just because it's, it's 11 o'clock. 
Oh, okay. Very nice. Like a... I'm sorry, I got, I got, yeah. He's not going to go towards him. Grab the book and oh, let's we, get we, out we, of here. We got all, we got all week to be all excited. You guys can think about how you want to deal with the situation. There's a couple, I mean, you know, you could, someone could throw themselves on the grenade. Someone could try to pick it up. Someone could, you could, you could run, you know, you could talk. I'm going to pick this Nazi guy up and put him on top of the grenade. Possible. You can do that too. Yeah, I like that the idea. Fear, fuck. Yeah, I like that. Would be, that would be a maneuver, probably. I think he could do that with his left foot. Yay. If you, you failed your luck, you add how many? 2d10, is that? Yeah. Oh, are we rolling for stuff now? Can, yeah. Okay, good, because I need to roll for some luck. At the end of every session. All right, cool. Oh, His luck's at 91 now. But did we roll Did we roll at the end of last session too? Because I got some makeup rolls to do then. I should be able to roll luck twice. Oh, nice. And what happens if you fail your luck roll? You roll what? 2d10 plus 10. Plus 10? Hooray! Be like, no. over 100? No. No. Can it I think be 100? 99 is max. Yeah, 99. Okay. Need to use some. 1d10 plus 5 if you make it, like me. All right. You guys feel a rush of of success, really, man. It's you think you've killed this thing. Bruner. Now I'll make it. Yeah, there's yeah like we this. have to... Uh... Yeah, there's a hissing grenade sitting on the floor. Yeah, but then there's the yeah. book. And then there's the book. Yeah, that's pretty good. Man. Like that. Oh no, it's just ten. <laughs> one, one d ten on a regular skill, right? For skills, yeah. Okay. One d two d ten plus ten. That's right. If. Notice when he falls to the ground, this this dark area here dissipates, and you can see it's like there's some kind of cavern back there. Uh huh. Do it. Mm. Had to be coming from somewhere. Game guys, you guys got far. All right. I messed around. We gotta get. Are we gonna be able to get Stewart in here next round? How are we gonna get him in? Because I, I have a feeling we're gonna go down that cave. Well, you know, well, you know, I think I think Chang attack for everybody, right? Anybody, anybody who's gonna be hired is probably gonna be hired through Tor and Chang. So imagine that he'd probably be in Boston. But remember, your main goal is to get this book and get the hell out of here, right? No, don't worry. I can pick you up in the uh, in the Huey. There you go. All right, we cool. gotta get this book, get the hell out of here, and get picked up in the Huey. Then. You guys have some options. We'll, we'll see. see what you decide to do. Now you got some kind of grenade in your face. <laughs> yes. Dude. I'm rolling the Nazi on top of that shit. <laughs> Literally, it's all you chop the arm off. You chop the arm off, and it collapses, and you're like, "Yeah!" And then the grenade rolls out. Chink. You're like, "What the?" Yeah. Book falls on top of it. End of part one. Uh. All right, gentlemen. Well, good night. That was good. Good game. Yeah, that was awesome. yeah. Lee. It no, was thank amazing. You. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, nice. yeah, good game, uh, guys. Nice that was cliffhanger. Awesome. Well, yeah, everybody. Always. Good session. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll, nice we'll to have you, we'll you back, back Stuart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. I'm, I'm excited to get in there and start tearing things up, dude. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We need they'll, need the help. they'll need the help. It's been pretty exciting so far. I'll bring a Huey full of guns and explosives. Excellent. <laughs> bring some uh, 
bags of blood, I think we might need that too. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Plasma. Plasma. I'm O negative. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. See you next time. Good game, everyone. Good game, Lake. Good game, Alicia. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Good. Thanks for helping. <laughs> My pleasure. Bye.